him in the butt. We should get Kurt, hey, Kurt. Here, huh? He's the guest today. <clears throat> Your son pooped everywhere. <laughs> Hello? Hey, what hey. are you doing? Uh, recording the podcast. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was just, I apologize. You're on the podcast right eight. now. Hi, Kurt. Oh, Hi, Kurt. Awesome. Hello, guys. <laughs> okay, I was just trying to get a hold of D. Oh, she, I apologize. She's not answering okay. the phone? I think she's beeping in right now. Oh, okay. I'll talk to you okay, later. Okay, thank then. you. Sorry. You're fine. Bye. 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 Bye, Kurt. Have a good day. That was nice. Also, oh. we did have a guest on the pod yep. today. Thanks, we Kurt. want to thank our guest, Kurt Kellick. Yeah. That was all right. I wonder what he thinks about the Batman. <laughs> he probably doesn't give half a shit. Well, that makes two of us. <sighs> Sorry, that, so Batman. Don Draper is the Mad Man, right? Who's Don Draper? From Mad Men. God, why why are we still talking about men? <laughs> <laughs> it's a rainy man. Hallelujah, it's, it's a rainy man. man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. I don't like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you have done to me. Hallelujah, so it's raining. Tomorrow is your first day of school. What are you going to wear? What are you going to wear? Do you have an outfit picked up? you going to wear your new Mickey Mouse shirt? You gotta I'm going to wear my new Tweety Bird shirt and my <laughs> Cookie Monster PJ pants. I hope it's fucking washed out pink. <laughs> Wait, what's washed out pink? <laughs> the it, Tweety Bird. It was a white shirt with Tweety Bird that got flipping the bird. Wow! But I washed it with a red sock. <laughs> Are you really, <laughs> Steve? <laughs> <laughs> I did it on purpose. You playing me like a fiddle? So you, you had wanted a, a pink shirt, <laughs> yeah. a washed out pink shirt. I'm telling right. you, he's right, but I don't think the connotation is necessarily a positive one. Uh, yeah. So that that is where I want to stand, even though it's fucking twenty minutes too late. Uh, I don't want people to think that I'm like uh, in agreement, you know. Yeah. So, Steve, did you do anything else this week? Um, I don't know, man. I kind of been wallowing, dude. This week's been really fucking rough. Oh, yeah. So it has. I want to get to that in a moment. Yeah, I don't really know how to talk about my week without that being. Okay. We'll get to it in a moment. I just want to make sure that we address all of our weeks and then have a good conversation about that. Bob? Yeah. Um, I didn't do anything. No. Went to your house, took Abby for a bunch of walks. Let's talk, Courtney, some, you post a picture of you guys walking. Lasagna, I fucked up a bechamel. Wait, wait you made a... You made- <laughs> You made a savory Italian noodle cake? Yes, I did. <laughs> Hold on, roll that back. I made a I made a savory Italian noodle cake. Mm, wow. Sounds good. This time I boiled my own noodles. Bob! Fuck off. No. Hell it yeah. doesn't make a difference. Proud of you. What's the difference here? Because he remember the last time I made lasagna right. and he yelled at me for making I'm still trying to understand noodles? what the problem is. Oven ready noodles. It's just not Right. I made the ragu for six hours. I can take a step out no. and use oven ready. Mm. It's not like I'm making my own pasta anyway. How the fuck does it work, though? That's parboiled. Yeah, it's parboiled, bro. You're fucking parboiled. Yeah, maybe. No, you're wrong. And you're yeah, getting, sometimes you're getting, you're getting a little. How the fuck do you keep a fucking box of parboiled noodles fresh? I don't know. You can buy parboiled rice and shit too. Fuck parboiled rice. That's cheating too. It's not cheating. Is I it like cheating I said, or is it just paying for convenience? It's paying for convenience it's and a bunch also bullshit. Bunch of bullshit. Also, like I said, I made that sauce for six hours. Okay, and I'm sure it was fucking delicious. It was pretty good, but I don't agree with what you did. You know, this time. No, the last time. I don't see the difference between un- unboiled noodles. I want to understand what the fuck you mean about a savory noodle cake. A savory Italian noodle cake. Yeah. it's a- So what happened? <laughs> what do you mean what happened? It's a lasagna. A lasagna is nothing more than a savory Italian noodle cake. I don't. I mean, that's a fucking stretch from a cake. 
to a lasagna. You assemble a cake. You assemble a lasagna. You don't really you assemble bake a cake. A cake. You bake a lasagna. You don't assemble a cake. You there's top no a cake. You top yes, a lasagna. you do. If you there's many different uh, styles of cake. I mean, maybe you assemble it after it's been baked. Cake? You mix it. You pour it. You bake it. Then maybe you assemble it. <sighs> what about a pudding cake? <laughs> Does, I mean, we're still talking a stretch from a cake. I. <clears throat> What about a pie? That's a pie, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then a lasagna is a... Bye, Devin. Bye. And Stevie. And Stevie. I thought you were leaving a long time ago. Um, so would lasagna then be a savory Italian noodle pie? I believe it to be a casserole. I believe it to be a pie. I think it's a casserole as well. Does it have a crust? It, it depends on how long you bake it. Yeah. <laughs> if what kind of cheese? Enough. What kind of cheese you you're using? What do you put of- noodles first, or do you put sauce? sauce. First? I put sauce first. Sauce. Then it's not a pie. You can't have your it's a crustless, filling it's on a the outside of a pie. pie. That's then not a fucking pie. Filling. You might as well just open a can of Libby's. <laughs> what is that? A cobbler? <laughs> no. <laughs> It cobbler does not make shoes. <laughs> cobblers are are uh, filling, and then whatever's on top. It's yeah, one, it's, it's too it, late. It makes shoes. Cobblers make shoes. Yeah, but there's no crust, right? Anyway, so I the savory up. Italian so you, well, I, noodle I cobbler. I left it on the stove too long. You made a bechamel for your okay. Yeah, yeah. Do they do this? Okay. Yeah, because somebody doesn't like ricotta cheese. What the fuck, Courtney? Damn. Well, you don't have to yell at her, but could have used cottage cheese. She doesn't like cottage cheese either. Let's but I cottage. find that cottage cheese makes for a better lasagna. I don't like cottage cheese in my lasagna. It's I too, like it. I don't. I don't like the curds in my in my I lasagna. Do. Put it in your blender. I'll put you in my blender. Yeah. yeah. Will it blend? No, no curd cottage cheese. <laughs> Um, I don't know what noises. I just okay, made so yeah, it's like disgusting. It. So, did you use a tomato sauce? I made my own. I made a, a bolognese. A bolognese. Okay, and a bechamel. I tried to make the bechamel, but it's separated. Oh. So you were going to use that to replace the cheese? Yeah. Because I put a little oh, pecorino romano me. in there. Give me the pecorino romano. And some, but I think I added the fats too fast. And my uh, stove, even if I have it on warm, it will boil water. Speaking of, do you know how to? I guess I could look it up. But boil I, water. Do you know how to boil water? Like that uh, hit Food Network show in the in the nineties, how to boil water. You remember? First, all, you bring no, it to the boil. Gray. No, uh, his name was Sean. And he had Sean a, Gray. He had a lady named Kathy on there. Kathy and Sean. Wait, was that Kathy really a show? Alton yeah. Gray? How to boil water? Yeah. Uh, but did they just teach? Is there a way? Them? Is there a way that I can uh, mess with things so that the elements don't heat up so fast? Do you know? Mm, I don't know. See, a lot of times with an electric stove, it only has one setting or two on. on and off, and so when you set it to like medium, it's just off half the time oh so it like pulses on yeah off, pulses <laughs> that's on. the way i understand it i may not be correct that but, makes sense um, well especially i mean you have an old yeah this thing's from the 60s it's so. vintage old. it's real old um now there may be something that you know could be replaced in there if there's like a a part know. that's old and not working correctly that might be an issue but um i really wouldn't know yeah. Although uh, Matt Doyle used to be an uh, appliance repairman. I see. I see. Mm. Oh, I've only ever talked to Matt Doyle once, so I don't know that I would reach out to him just for. We should bring Matt Doyle on the pod. I guess we could. Hey, Matt, you want to come be on the pod? He probably doesn't listen to the pod. He's uh, the other number one dad. He does seem like a. Re- he seems like a really nice guy. He's a great guy. Yeah. We've had some some fun projects together. Uh, what else did I do? <clears throat> Just played a bunch of Risk of Rain. Uh, that's about it. Started the Magicians. I don't know yeah. how I feel about it. No. 
Is seems, that a it seems, show? season one? It seems pretty cool. It seems all right. That's who my son is named I, after. Because I Quentin and Quentin, Elliot. Quentin Coldwater, mm-hmm. uh, which is just Adam Lazara. I don't from know. Taking Back Sunday. Oh, he's a grad student at a school for magical pedagogy. Pedagogy. I don't even know what that means. But I, that's a good show. It seems pretty cool. You, I just remembered, like I kept scrolling past it every once in a while, and then I we brought it up the one day, and you said I might not like it. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure, and I don't remember why that I would. And you were determined to prove him wrong. Yeah, yeah I got. Through, I, I got. Through, I hope you enjoy. I got through the first episode. It's it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, I did. I forgot to it tell just you. Just know that Julia will fuck something up at some point in time. If something gets fucked up, just as you should always assume it's Julia. Which one's Julia? She's the, really the smart Jennifer girl? Love Hewitt looking one. Oh, so his best friend. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. She just looks like fucking Jennifer Love Hewitt and it bothers me. A little bit. <laughs> what did you forget? Oh, I, I did watch uh, three episodes of Umbrella Academy in one day. Nice. I'm not, I still got to watch season two. That's the one I'm working on. I so didn't I even make it through season two. one. I've so watched four episodes now. It. It's very campy, but I like it. Matt campy? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> you think we can get Gerard Way on the pod sometime? Hey, Gerard, come on, be the pod. He's just going to... We'll just stay upstairs and he can just do all of our jobs. That's all? Yeah. I can't believe it. Can't fucking believe it, dude. <laughs> uh, no, that's about it. That's yeah. about all I did. Yeah. I had a cookout yesterday. We played Mind Hunters. Crusher. Mind Crushers. It's a conversational game. I think I'm going to get it so we can play it on the pod. Yeah. Regularly. Do you just talk? Yeah. It gives you, you like a scenario. Hard. And it's like, hey, here's what's going on. What would you do? And it's like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh. And some of them get real raunchy. Spicy. Oh. Yeah. It's like that fucking mayo upstairs, but extra mayo Extra spicy? No, extra mayo So like, hey, um, you're in a brothel and your name is Candy. What do you do? Uh, like that kind of spicy? I think it's With- a little more well thought out than that. <laughs> I need more. I need more information. No. Well, one of them. Why was- am I in the brothel? Do I work there? Yeah, that's how you that's how you do it. I'm pretty sure. It's pretty much like who gives the best part of the conversation like one of them was uh the topic was you really need this job or something like that mm-hmm. and you know, it was staying on your shirt no uh, the other one yeah uh <laughs> th- you get through the interview and the guy the interviewer asks uh i really love my horse and i love he doesn't he, mind when, like, he, when i do it yeah i but i really love to make my horse come I like jerking off my horse. I really love jerking off my horse. And the horse. But you really need this. Too. You really need this job. So where? What do you do? Yeah. What do you do? Oh, okay. Yeah. That. Uh, when can I start? <laughs> yeah, because it doesn't. Get, it doesn't give Thanks like for the information. It doesn't. Give, I now have the job. Yeah. It doesn't give like what the job is. So you could you can either assume that it's like an office job, or if you've gone to a a horse. A stud farm. Stud farm. Yeah. That's where you get the things for your walls. That's where they grow them. Yuck. These yeah. things don't just grow on trees, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's it's those kind of questions. Not all of them. They don't all have to deal so with So how horse. do you win? You don't. It's just a conversation. Yeah. Uh, the card? Yeah. Uh, so somebody will choose. You'll go through a bunch of different people. And then whoever you decide had the best points to the question, then gets the card and gets to choose the next one to read. Oh. Yeah. It's a pretty fun game. I really okay. liked it. Yeah, yeah, it was a good time. Yeah. We enjoyed ourselves. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Oh, well, I saw my sister yesterday. Did you? Yeah, that's probably why I didn't come over because she was here for way longer than I thought she would be. Yeah. Not that that's a bad thing, but um, it was unexpected. She came over to drop off some tools and... Hung out in my kitchen for a couple hours. That's cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't see her very often. Hours. It was nice. She uh, recently moved and got a dog. I heard. 